All right, we're going to go over the uh, BiPAP uh, non-invasive function of the LTV 1200. As this is an area I know people have some trouble sometimes with, I'm going to show you two different ways to put it into a BiPAP type mode um, using the LTV 1200. So initially what we're going to do, we're going to start our ventilator, same as usual, and turn it on. We're going to select new patient when it comes up. Select that. We're going to select adult. So typically we're going to be doing this on an adult patient. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here where you see assist control SIMV CPAP and the NPPV. Don't worry about setting volume or pressure initially. We're not going to mess with that. Uh, this will take care of itself later. So what we're going to do now is we're going to press the select button until we get down and NPPV starts flashing. We're going to hit that one more time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and you're going to see it's going to set say set IPAP and this the pressure support is going to light up with 10 here initially. Let's say we have the patient in a hospital and the patient's on 10 over 5. Our machine's a little bit different than the freestanding machines in the hospital because the freestanding machines in the hospital you actually set a separate IPAP and EPAP. Our machine it's actually additive so if we want to set 10 over 5 our IPAP or our pressure support is actually going to be set down to 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here we're going to take this down to 5 press that button and it accepts it. Now the ventilator is going to say set EPAP. And the PEEP button is going to light up over here. So we're going to come over here again. We want 10 over 5. We're going to set this to 5. And accept. Now the patient is placed uh, on basic, essentially BiPAP. There will be a backup breath rate initially of 12, although it's not necessarily if the patient's breathing spontaneously on their own, they will determine their breath rate. There's no reason to set the I to E ratio. Again, the patient's going to determine that. Uh, nor is there any reason to set the tidal volume. Apnea will alarm if the patient is breathing under 12 times a minute. Uh, in this case, we have the patient on the test lung, so that's why it's going off. If you notice here, the volume and pressure, it actually set itself when you're in the MPPV mode. There was no reason to set this. It actually started out in volume. Now, this is one way to do this. I'm going to show you now another way that we can do the same thing. Uh, with the ventilator. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the SIMV CPAP mode. So if you start with this, you actually do have to set the ventilator into pressure, which it already actually is in the pressure in this case. So we're going to hit select until SIMV CPAP light up. We're going to accept that again. I'll silence our alarm here. And we're essentially going to set the same thing that we just did with the MPPV mode by setting a pressure support, which will be the same as IPAP and we've already got 5 set in there. But let's say we're going to set it to uh, 15 over 5. So if we do that, we'll take this up to 10 in this case. Accept that. Then we're going to come over to our PEEP, again, which is the same as the EPAP. It's actually already at 5, so we're going to accept that. And now we're going to leave it alone. You can always change your FiO2 if you want. Uh, in this case, uh, it's at 21%, but you can change that. Again, you can take the breath rate down, if you want, uh, to nothing, again, because the patient should be breathing on their own. The apnea alarm will still sound uh, under 12 breaths per minute, and you can actually set a backup rate if you want, but it's not necessarily to set a tidal volume. And again, the patient is uh, in BiPAP now using the SIMV CPAP mode of the ventilator.